You're listening to Roya Rock on Supreme Radio. We've had a lot of texts and tweets about the new labelling for cigarettes. Carol from Newport says, I smoke 40 a day and I feel fine. <laughs> Food for thought. And we were talking about homeopathy earlier. Emma from the Wirral says, the scientists can say what they like. Homeopathy is the only thing ever helped my back. Can't argue with that. Keep those texts coming, but right now I'm joined by Captain Peter Kendrick from the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. Peter, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm here to announce an exciting Yeah, we'll new... get to your plug, Peter, in due time, but uh, before we do, let me just ask you this. The RNLI, uh, it's a bit of a scam, isn't it? Uh, a what? A scam, a con. Uh, you're all about rescuing people from shipwrecks and stuff, right? Well, that's one of the things we yeah, do. Yeah, don't hedge, Peter. It's the main thing you do. I've been on your website. <laughs> well, I've been in boats and ships dozens of times in my life, probably hundreds, and not one of them sunk. Not a one. Right. Uh, I don't really know what your point my is. My point I... is that I have never needed your lifeboats. Well... You may not have done, but nearly 8,000 people last year did. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I, I know you don't. I'm telling you about it. But <laughs> what I do know is that I've never needed to be rescued from a boat, and nor has anyone I know. Right, but that's statistically a very small sum. Uh, well, you uh, can prove anything with statistics. No, you can't. No, you, you can only prove the things the statistics bear out. Let, so. me, uh, let me give you a concrete example. Last month, mm. I took the ferry to France and back. Not only did it not sink... It was a very smooth crossing. <laughs> How do you explain that? I, I mean, what do you want me to explain? Uh, are you saying boats never get into trouble at sea? This one didn't. But that's irrelevant. Oh, I'm irrelevant now, am I? <laughs> and yet it's me and millions of poor mugs of taxpayers like me who have to fork out for your precious lifeboats. No, no, you don't. We're entirely funded by charitable giving. Yeah, well, you can call it what you like. No, you can't. You can only call it what it is. It's still coming out of taxpayers' pockets. No, it isn't. Yeah, yeah it is. It isn't! Well, we'll just have to agree to differ on that one, Peter. But you're wrong! <laughs> yeah, well, I think you're wrong. No, but you are actually wrong. <laughs> yeah, we've, uh, we've both got a right to our opinions, Peter. No, taxpayers don't pay for lifeboats. If your opinion is that they do, you don't have a right to that opinion. Wow. Peter Kendrick there with some pretty totalitarian attitudes there <laughs> from a supposedly charitable organisation. Showing his true colours, I think. Stay with us after the news. We'll be talking about World War II. Was it really as bad as the doom mongers make out? <laughs> My granddad was in it and he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> 